And to everybody, of course, at the du magazine. Let's sit and watch. À tous de DDO, attention pour le début de la séquence d'allumage lanceur. Top, à Giro moins 20 secondes. Largage du MAVKM. Allumage triétage. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top et décollage. à mettre à bord son normaux. Wow, always impressive. Yeah. There she goes, uh, holding herself against the gravity of our planet, which of course is uh, pulling us back down, making life possible here on Earth, but uh, making it very different, difficult to leave. We're burning five engines, one on the main core stage, one on each of those. Lanceur, suivant les trois axes, sont nominales. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. One on each of those boosters. He's telling us that everything's going according to plan. Sylvain. Your next uh, two satellites have taken off. Yes, you're right. Now we are very pleased that uh, we are off the ground, for sure. Uh, we still have a long journey uh, ahead of us, nearly four hours. But it seems to be a very good start. Yeah. Take a look at the bottom of the screen. You can see on the left the altitude. We're 16 kilometers above the Earth. De structure du lanceur sont nominaux. And our cameras have picked up more images there of Soyuz as it hurtles across the sky. If we're lucky, we might even see the boosters falling away in about um, half a minute. At the bottom of the screen is the distance from the pad. That's propulsifs sont conforme à l'attendu. That's the distance uh, if you were to draw a line along the Earth and on the right hand side the speed. We can hear the launcher as it flies over the uh, delayed sound there. And this is the scheduled moment for the boosters to fall away. We don't need them anymore. They have done their job. They have burnt their propellant. And we can see superb images here from a previous launch. And we have confirmation that the separation of the boosters has indeed occurred. So we're burning the main core stage now. Uh, folk here call it the Block A, Sylvain. Yes, you're right. Um, it burns for just under five minutes. So it burns uh, liquid oxygen and kerosene. Little word about confirmations. You might have noticed that we get schedule events and then. Suite à la des and then slightly uh, later we get the confirmation. That's because uh, we are seeing key moments happening at the right time. But we get the confirmations of those milestones just uh, fractionally later. That's perfectly normal. Yeah, you're right, because it takes uh, a little time for the information to get from the launcher to the range operations manager here in the Guiana Space Center. So that's because it goes uh, via Moscow. He calls out the confirmations once he gets them. And so what we are seeing are the milestones when they are scheduled to happen. There at the front of the vehicle is the fairing. We saw it earlier. It's housing the satellites. They're inside there. It's got several jobs. Uh, most notably, it's protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch. Yeah. So we are having, for instance, uh, acoustic vibrations at liftoff, so very loud friction. So the, the launcher is flying through the dense part of the atmosphere at very high speed, so it's very hot uh, outside the fairing. And that friction is dissipating now because if you look at the bottom of the screen, we're 114 kilometers above the Earth and we don't need the fairing anymore, so it's, it's just fallen away. We've had confirmation. 